Hello everyone, this is the Great Pumpkin speaking and welcome to this new PvP video about Dragon Fable. So last time we've still managed to get up to a streak of 1 and now we'll be continuing with the same rule set as usual. So we'll be going as a Gnomish Team Tank par Mark II this time around. Another Dragon Coin class released quite far back actually during the Energy Orb Saga. So yeah, what is the Gnomish Team Tank basically? Well, it's a class that has a quite a bit of uh, combos in it and among others the ability to use this which is a 5 turn heal overtime which is 10% of health recovered per turn and can also use this move which is called self destruct which will remove pieces of its health to actually damage everyone on the field for a half decent amount of damage still not the best one that one could possibly get anyhow we'll start off with a blind the class isn't all that impressive, but it's kind of funny. For one thing, you look particularly small compared to other people when you're running it, and it's just kind of silly. <laughs> Anyhow, we're gonna use the scatter shot, which is boosted by the blind, for a respectable amount of damage against this guy at least. We can also use Bio to set mana from the enemy health, or whatever that means. And you will use Boiling to consume the B.O. and do all of the damage at once. It appears that this does sap some mana and re give it back to you. That can be somewhat interesting. So, next one we're gonna use... Frighteningly Big Gun. That's kinda funny with this little crane putting the bullet in. <laughs> We're gonna go into overdrive. One of the odd thing because it kind of seems like the screen uh, kind of sticks there, but uh, it's just taking time to finish carrying out what it's doing. The animation might not have been all that well thought out. But then again, you see me criticizing a lot of the design on this, but you know, I'm not sure I could have done any better, to be honest. Sometimes you just gotta make a decision and stick with it. Whee! Next one. Okay, we're up against Master Raid, who is uh, a Master Soul Weaver. So let's start in overdrive. Go kitty! Blind? Kinda feel like he's pooing oil at him or something. Really odd looking. Seems really like, like again a mostly defensive class. Just the fact that you're actually encouraged to actually use the blind fairly often and re increase your mana to use the nano healing as well as the self destruct kind of means that it's not nearly as offensive as it could be though again as i mentioned before this is mostly my first remarks of playing the class i don't know three times each about so don't take everything I say for granted, really. Awesome, consume the bio. We should actually have used the frighteningly big gun and just uh, chain back into the blind. Yeah, that would have been a great idea. Oh well, learning things. Kinda nice that you can't use the Aegis special move. That helps me out quite a bit. Thing is, with him uh, focusing his spirit and everything, uh, 
I kinda end up sort of uh, nullifying his buff. It seems like he keeps reapplying it though. Just seem to be getting quite a lot less damage, or me getting less crit, whatever the case may be. Kind of thinking about stunning him. Yeah, let's do that. Bam. Blind. Come on, kitty, you can do it. Only three hits? Are you kidding me? Whee! Let's try a burn. Have decent damage with a dot, I suppose. Dot isn't all that impressive, though. Oh well, that's the end of him. Next one. Up against Kaisa, who is a, dra a human warrior. I was gonna call her a dragon warrior, but that's not quite right. Hmm. Let's start with shield. Actually, never really paid attention to this particular armor, despite the fact that it's been out for quite a while. I might have been around when they released Mark One. Actually, it was uh, how can I say they made another version because this armor had some sort of bug that could actually uh, auto kill just about any enemy. <laughs> so yeah, they didn't like it so much. I mean, there are things that uh, that still do that, like the Pumpkin Lord and so on, but still... Whee! Let's stun her, I don't want to take too much damage. Frighteningly big gun. Bam! Takes a while to kill stuff with this. Depends mostly on how much crit I get and whether overdrive is up or not. Actually, it seems to get up there fairly quickly. Hmm, I'm probably not playing this right. Charge! Okay, now let's see. Another blind. This little kind of think like steampunk wheels it actually makes me laugh. Okay, two more to go. Actually not looking too badly, we're up against Doomlord, who's a dread pirate. How about that? Doesn't do that much though. Well, if I think about it, the way the crit is lined up, using frighteningly big gun before it uh, might actually be a better idea. Or maybe not. I don't know. Still figuring things out. Come on, Han. Don't be like that. Could use a stun. That would save me my critical. Doesn't seem to have done anything, though. Frighteningly big give a gun for that crit.
go with blind and go with another scanner oh he stole an health potion from me did he that could be bad hmm Just hope he's not gonna heal by 900, that would be really bad. Whew. Scared me for nothing. It's possible that he just goes through his regular inventory to start with and after that he actually goes to mine. But he won't have the chance to do that. Last one. Oh, against Keto, the Doom Knight. Could go either way against this one. Hmm. So it's a Versh... Okay, it's this one. I don't like that. Owie! You big meanie. Well, since we survived that, we should be good. So it seems we managed to stun him. Yep, we did. This one could also have debuffed him somewhat. There we go. The win's a win's a win. Streak of two. Okay, for our second round, we're gonna be going as a classic paladin. Let's do this. Starting off against Sarkov, uh, also another paladin. Oh, it's light resist. Hmm. What's his light resist looking like? Not that high. Probably better that way. Come on, son, hit me. Let's go retract. Plenty of damage on this one. So it's difficult to tell, the Paladin is a fairly defensive class to begin with. Still, we're doing not too bad. I didn't mention before that I preferred the Retro Paladin to the new one. Feel like the new armor is overdone. Guess who's signature is on this? <laughs> Poor guy. You know, that's one of the things that I believe, is that you should believe what you do what you think is good and what you like. Otherwise, there's not really much point in doing anything. So, you know, whatever people criticize you or whatever it is, you know, just do what you want. That's the best way to do things, I think. But then again, I'm getting surprisingly deep for a Dragon Fable video. <laughs> Bam! It's the end of that. Sweet! Next one. Sephiroth the Doom Knight. Which kind? Version 1. How about that? 
Lowers damage, increased darkness resist. That's actually not that bad. Given that he's using the Necrotic Sword of Doom, that shouldn't be too bad. Put up the barrier just in case. And what it should do is each and every time I feel like. The last attack is powerful, but still. Missing that uh, particular thing is really awful. Does seem like I'll have him stunned though. Yep. Nothing to worry about. Okay, next one. Up against Navin. A Doom Knight version 1 again. So far they barely made a scratch on us at all. Could actually be a good thing for this guy to actually deal me a hit. Then again I have no control on the Paladin I need healing. That could be a reason to actually ban the class from this or whatever, but I don't feel it's that powerful to begin with, so... You know. Resist the mobility effect. Doesn't look like this is gonna get take hold. Probably not a bad thing. Still managed to crit past my shield though. That is no good. No good at all. Oh well. Gonna increase the tiner light and hope we can manage to tank through it. It shouldn't be too hard actually. Alright, give it all you got, dude. Powerful, but doable. Okay, next one. Up against Liret the Ranger. What does her weapon look like? Hmm. Still fairly powerful. Hmm. I don't recall them having such a powerful moveset to begin with. Should probably just stun her. Leaves time for my basic heal to build itself. Then I can probably pop a shield or something. Better not to use seal. That's a ban move. You little. Oh well, that'll teach me. Always wait one turn. Thankfully the ranger's AI is somewhat broken if I remember right, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem.
Sorry, Han. Okay, let's go with Dom. Getting in the zone there. It's getting quite hazardous. Kind of running out of mana too. Getting there fairly quickly. Thought that strike would be enough. Might not be. Nope. Oh well. We got a rat. That's the end of that. Sweet. Last one. Up against Super Fighter. Who's a human warrior with no weapon. Which... Hmm. If he has a cape, he's probably a dragon amulet. Probably just forgot. Things happen. Seems like the later this get, the easier it gets. I've actually been doing the last uh, two videos, including this one, back to back. And it seems like we're still having a rather diverse pool of fighters to deal with. Although we haven't sealed that much strong uh, of the stronger ones in this one. Awesome. That would be a streak of three if I'm not mistaken. Okay, for our last round, we're going to be going as a Doom Knight. <laughs> Let's see how this works out. So we're starting off against Red Emperor, another Doom Knight. And actually, uh, the, this Doom Knight is going to be one of the classes that I'm going to be nerfing somewhat. With uh, us using the Dusty Blackwind Staff, which is a level 30 weapon. Because, well, the regular Doom Knight did so much damage that I thought you know, he just wasn't right to do it this way. So anyhow, we're going to try to do what we can with this one. So this thing, okay, yeah. Okay, go like this. Use the Corrupt to actually reduce his darkness resistance, which isn't really the point why I'm doing this, but it's still not a bad thing. Minus 50 to darkness is nothing to scoff at, really. So. Let's see. Finding a sensor ought to help out a little. Okay, five. Use will to drain his immobility. Whoops. That I did not expect. Oh well. Must we strike stun with the with the spikes? So with that, we should be mostly fine to hold till the end of the battle against this guy. Wee. Kind of like that uh, Phoenix helmet, although I kind of hate the fact that there's this bit of skin above the armor, shall we say, uh, and the neck that uh, shows skin on the female version. Doesn't look quite as, uh, shall we say, armored as the male version. Still, I think this is based off actually Gravelin's armor from AQ World, so, you know, things happen. Ok, 
Okay, we're starting off against the Chosen One. So I should probably heal and reflect his damage. Whoops, I forgot. This isn't allowed, is it? Then again, this is the only shield for Doom Knight. What am I supposed to do? Mm, I'll need to think this over. Anyhow, corrupt. It's kind of weird because really, Doom Knight seems to be the only class that actually doesn't have a dedicated shield. This move is cool, which is called Seek, which will always attack the enemy with, uh, with his uh, weakest element. And if he doesn't have any, it will actually deal magical damage, if you'd believe that. Well, that's actually fairly interesting, and one of the reasons I feel like Doom Knight can get rid of stuff really quickly. I mean, even with the small bit of stuff I do, I do a ton of damage, even with such a low-level weapon. I actually tried uh, going with even lower weapons with this one, but I didn't feel it was necessary. That is done. Next one. Given the fact that we have survived five fights, for the most part, which will probably be without shields, and we're up against Lovely, who has the same type of weapon as we do, although with a much higher damage. Hmm. Does she have a mobility resist? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Do I leave her a chance or don't I? Taking quite a bit of damage in that previous fight. Let's go with Corrupt. Go with Blast to put up our dots. And go with Weakening Blow. We're getting easy people, so it doesn't really show, but against uh, players that are actually well-geared, this class actually won't be doing that much damage. Especially since if they have particularly high darkness resistance. But that's the end of her, I'm afraid. So, next match. We're starting off against 18 years old, the Doom Knight. Oops, I forgot to check which sort of Doom Knight it was. I'm not gonna like that, am I? Okay, it's version 1. Oh, that's fine with me. Do whatever you got to do, dude. Meanwhile, I'm gonna be shattering your immobility. And that's the end of you. Even the fact that he can bypass Doom Knight, I actually feel that it should be justified that I can't use the Doom Knight shield at all. That should be a new rule. Or rather, an unwritten rule. Hmm, I'm kind of wasting my mana there. I believe I have a move to get more mana from this guy, do I? Drain, increase your legaling and limit foe. Save attack at the cost of HP, destroy foe's mana. No, doesn't seem like it. Where'd Almet? I'm kind of wondering from which uh, set this is. Okay, this is done. Last one. Up against Gamer Mask, a Doom Knight. But I have a decent weapon. Uh, which version was it? It's the regular one. Uh, this oh well. I have to make do, I suppose. I'm gonna tank two hits. Owie! Should probably have done this a turn earlier, actually. Could have avoided a ton of damage. He nearly wiped me with this, too. Oh well, that won't be an issue now.
very highly dependent on mana Doom Knights are. Alright, we're up to a streak of 4, and I'm afraid that's gonna be it for the time being. Thank you for watching everyone, if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe, please leave a comment below, and that was the Great Pumpkin, y'all have a pleasant time now, bye!